Hello everybody! Welcome back to our Let's Keep It Real! I'm so excited to have this beautiful lady here, my friend, Yasmin El Cori. Is that why it's that? Yes. Yes, I always mm -hmm. ask my guest if I pronounce the name right because I think it's awful when you mispronounce somebody else's yes. name because people call me all the time Kuala, <laughs> Kalua. You can imagine me, I, I get Jasmine. I, Jasmine. I know, Jasmine. right? Yes, I want variation. Sure. Yes, I mean, that's a beautiful name, by the way. I love that. And I'm sure you saw the topic tonight. I'm very, very excited because it's something that actually is going on with me in my life right now and the topic is about be the change so i'm so excited that yasmin gonna be here talking to us about this so yasmin is an accomplished senior executive she's an entrepreneur she's an innovator and as well as a board member for 13 years for the women's center leadership conference right, right. yes yeah, yeah. that's how we met thank you for being here tonight yes, thank really you for the invitation no. i really look forward to it no i'm very excited mm -hmm. so tell me a little bit yasmin how did you get your start tell us about your journey i'm sure everybody at home they're excited they want to hear as well yeah absolutely so i grew up in germany i moved to the u.s for university went to university of maryland and stayed got married had two kids, became a single parent, raised two children on my own. You know, the typical <laughs> right, right, yes. Right. Um, I started out in, in high tech early in my career, and I moved into leadership positions all around different sales organizations, worked for small companies, big companies like Cisco, Sprint as an example, and had a really wonderful, wonderful career um, as executive leader there. And uh, a few years ago, I decided it was time to make a change. <laughs> I know, right? Make a change. I'd always wanted to be in the startup community. And uh, I just took a jump. I left high tech in my well known industry and jumped into the wellness industry. And from there, I pivoted over to where I'm at now with M Blue Labs, which is a commercialization startup out of the University of Maryland, my alma mater. Wow. It's all come full circle. So a lot of change. All come full circle. Uh, and I love, love, love the startup environment it's really wonderful <laughs> so how do you define change you know and what does change mean to you because you know just right now you just told us all this change that you already been doing right <laughs> so how, how do you define change yeah you know last year when Hula came to the conference our topic was really around be the change and when we talked about this evening we thought that's such a beautiful deep subject let's let's go back there and let's talk about that so I put this together really last year and Kila can put it back out on Facebook for you yes. later but I, I kind of defined it for myself every letter of that word change really is about that so the C stands for choose to do something choose to make a change and then commit to it Absolutely. and we'll talk about some personal stories you know throughout the evening right. about that. then the H in the word is about harness the power because when you make a change, there is a momentum. It's like when you set free a spring or you open a bottle, there is this, this tension, right? There is an enormous power. You need to harness it and make that work for you. A, act. Because opportunities are always, always, always there to make a change, but you have to act on them. So that's on to you. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. The end in the word, no doubt. You can't doubt yourself. You just got to go for it Absolutely. and make it happen. Absolutely. No and then the G, when you make a change, there will be growth. You can't avoid that. So welcoming the growth in that process and, and understanding that sometimes that's the real benefit is that growing right. part of ourselves is really important. And the E, you got to embrace the change and trust that you're really on the right path. Absolutely. And we talk about this, you know, before we start here. Change is not easy because we are afraid, you know, of the new, right? We mm -hmm. Sometimes we are too comfortable right where we are at and we don't want just to, to open ourselves. And I think that's the problem sometimes because we hold ourselves. So what happened, the majority of us, you know, sometimes there is something big out there just waiting but we're just holding ourselves back because we're afraid of the change, yeah. right? You know, there is a lot of fear around change, and I think some of it is the way we grow up. We seek security, right? And when we're in a comfort zone, whether it's a relationship, a job, the community, it feels good. 
Yeah. Right? It, right. Feels, it feels good. Yeah. So to rip yourself out of that and start something new, it takes a lot of energy. And yeah, it, it, there is a fear of failure. Right. Change could mean failure. Of course, we all have fear, right? Mm -hmm. All of us, at some point in our lives, we have a moment that we face fear. But the fear, you know, what I have learned over these years and dealing with my own fear is just fear is not here to, to paralyze us, to hold us back. You know, fear is here actually to uh, warning us, right? Like we talk, mm -hmm. if you're going to yeah. go to a job interview, right? Just to tell you, be prepared. Right, exactly. you know, make sure that you know your resume, that you know, get ready for this interview. Or even if you are, you know, in that uh, relationship for years, that you you don't know how to get out of that relationship. The fear, you know, is telling you just make sure that you mm -hmm. you you just plan accordingly. I can speak for myself. I'm very like uh, impulsive sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, and I mean, the fear sometimes is telling me just. Hold on, Hold on, you know, mm -hmm. sleep on, right? Think yeah. about it, have a plan, right? And mm -hmm. then that fear, when I see the fear this way, the fear starts to paralyze me. The fear doesn't hold me back anymore. Mm -hmm. You understand? Instead, it just moves me forward. Yeah. It helps me for whatever thing. I say, yes, I can do this because now I'm prepared. If that's what I meant when I talked about harnessing that energy right. that you unleash, right? It feels good when you get past that, that paralyzing fear and you set it in motion. Right. And you have a plan and you prepare. Right. It feels good. And it's that momentum. Right? Yeah. But see, I'm the opposite. I'm a planner and I'm, I'm a very like analytical before. I'm a risk taker. Right. Which helps me right. Things, uh -huh. But I'm a big planner. Uh huh. Uh, before and, and that has hurt me in the past when I wasn't as fast to make the decision and to jump when I was younger and I've, I've really had to work on that on that trust like tuning into right say okay I see an opportunity well, let me check in is it right for me and one of our execs at Cisco had this great idea she said it's the butterflies and the bees you know butterflies about transformation it's so it's a beautiful beautiful image and that's so, why sorry to interrupt yeah. you that's why actually people ask me all the time why I like butterflies so much because I just see this the caterpillar transform in a beautiful butterfly and that's how I see ourselves you yeah. know yeah so you know back to the butterflies and and the bees so we all have these gut feelings right every one of us fear is a we all know the gut feeling of fear we know the gut feeling of elation of like oh my god i could just scream yeah, it's so right, beautiful right. so when when we're in a new situation and it, it's giving us this gut feel a really great way to check in is like literally put your hands on, on your belly if it's bees they're buzzing around and it's unnerving unsettling it's probably not the right place. It's not the right thing. When it's butterflies, they're kind of like, do you remember that time when you were so in love, like the first time you had right, butterflies and right, you had to meet right. the guy? Those are the butterflies. They're jumping around happily in your stomach. That's the good kind of feeling. So when it's the butterflies, go, go with it. When it's the bees, okay, warning sign. You know, I love the way you say this because for me, I always tell everybody when I am ready to do something and if it, it does not uh, bring me peace, if I have too mm. much anxiety, I can't sleep, I, right there, that is a bit, it's just a big sign for me yeah. that maybe I have to stop. Like you all know that I'm, I'm a godly woman and I have to do a big change in my life and that I, I don't know if the, what I'm feeling is the right feeling, you know, and I'm I still not trusting my God. And then I go and ask God and see the direction. I know that is this right change when I'm asking for something and I just feel like if it doesn't happen the way I want, mm -hmm. I know that it wasn't supposed to be it. Because I'm in peace. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, when you feel in peace, like you said, it's the butterflies, right? Mm -hmm. It's not the bees, you know, in your stomach. Yeah. It's the butterflies. I felt in peace. So the, I think that's I what you mean, right? Yeah, that's, that's, well. that's a great example. Yeah. yeah. So what are your core values and how do they play into change? Yeah. So one of my big core values is commitment. You know, once you say you do something, go do it, make it happen. Commitment. Yes, yes, <laughs> no, no. The same is true for change, right? Uh, it, it requires time, dedication, energy. So be committed to it. Give it really, give it all you've got to make it actually happen. Right. Uh, the other one is about trust. 
so once you've made that decision and it feels good, trust that you're on the right journey. As long as those bees aren't fluttering, right, around, right. Trust you're on the right journey. It's not all going to be smooth, and it, I can't tell you how many sleepless nights I have had in the last four years. Many, right? Many, many, many. But I, in the morning, always talk to myself and realize it's about trust. You know, you have to continue to trust your instincts and trust you made the right decision, and it's played out beautifully. But you have to you have to trust yourself absolutely um, and i mean i think to really even be part of a change pattern you have to be curious absolutely i'm very inquisitive don't be afraid yeah. just to take a risk take a chance yeah right it's all for these things go for the, it's there's so much variety we're in this miraculous yeah. space where we get to choose i we like to make choices we do and i learned something for this a very young uh nice lady when i was at the story woman actually not the time she was one of the speakers she always say any situation come to her she say if it's not me who right yeah so mm -hmm. i always see just like yeah. you know I, I always think okay uh what's the worst that can happen you know if i try this mm -hmm. and i have this thing too i don't know about you because i say i'm a risk taker and i'm a little impulsive too but i always regret for the things that i don't try the mm -hmm. things that i don't do it you know of course i have fell many many times not one two three four five because i try so many things right mm -hmm. but i don't have regrets because no matter what in the end of the day you know i learned mm -hmm. something yeah. don't you feel the same I even do. that you, if you don't succeed you, right uh, you know every piece of my journey and i look at the points and at the time they may not have made sense in retrospect they all fit together in the right pattern right. because one point leads to the next get you the skills get you ready to take the next even though at the moment it may not seem wow. that way so there's so much growth with making it it's, it's all the left turns right turns if you just stay in a straight line you probably arrive there very quickly right with all the richness of knowing and experience and I remember what we talk in the couch and i say unfortunately as a human being we want right away gratification sometimes you know it takes time you have seeds and you throw away and some gonna mm -hmm. get in the good soil some are gonna get in the box right exactly. and that's what we have to learn how to have patience it's exercise Yes, me. And I know it's easy to say, right? It's easy to say more than to do it. But I feel for me that I am, you know, again, I'm like a thousand miles an hour and I have this big mm -hmm. ego and like to do things, you know, left and right. And it's exercise. And sometimes I have to say, slow yeah. down, wait. That, you know, it takes time. It does. And you know, it's good to have a support system. Absolutely. When you go through these big changes, you need some friends who are there who can say, when you have a rough day, it'll be fine. Look at what you've accomplished and give you that other perspective, right. whether it's a spouse or a friend or a colleague. You know, don't don't think you have to be a lone woman out there with a change. Right. right. Because when we start to grow, evoke and, you know, do change in our lives, sometimes the people that are in our lives at the moment, right. if they, you know, if they are not aligning it with your goals, with mm -hmm. the change of the things that you are doing in your life, no way they're going to be able to keep up with you and they're going to hold you back it's like pruning it's like when you grow a fruit tree right right and you have all these little little branches that grow all these little connections and people you know well to, to really get good growth you have to prune those little little what they have a name those little side side branches right Supple, little side branch things. yeah sometimes you have to prune them so that you can get the light to the tree to where it needs to shine and that's okay too that's okay too and and i can i love this topic folks i love because if we if you are my friend if you know me well enough you know that i've been to a lot of change this past two years i'm so looking forward to see you know the person i'm going to become the next year the next two mm -hmm. years isn't it exciting it's so exciting because i just feel that you see the change mm -hmm. Changes are not easy, trust me. I was telling Yasmin before we start, and you know, I had made decisions last year, this year, that I would not make two years ago. I had made different decisions, but that's okay, too. You know, sometimes it's painful, change is painful, right? We oh, talk yeah. about this, mm -hmm. but guess what? You know, after the storms, it comes the rainbow. 
right? It's the way the, the waters mm -hmm. are calm, you know, it's yeah. a beautiful sunset, right? Yeah. That's the same with us. It's also the piece about, you know, when you make a change or if you're in a situation, waiting too long. So we talked about you. Right. Asked, well, what right. would you have done different? Right. You know, I was relating a story about um, a, a position, a corporate right. assignment where I had always made a change. Yeah, Never two years yeah, that was like you know. And I asked her that looking back <laughs> at your journey, like yeah. what things would you do different today? Yeah. That's what yeah. she. Yeah. So they're not a lot because all of them connect to other points, but there are some. <laughs> Trust me. Right. And you know, for me, I was always moving around. Every two years, I was in a new assignment. Maybe not a new company, but a new assignment. And I got to this one place where I loved the team, I loved the uh, clients we were working with, and it was a very, very prestigious team. It was like the the most prestigious customer you could have. I stayed there for six years. It was way too long, but I stayed because I loved everything about it. And it was also the ego piece because I was at this very visible space in the company with this great client. I didn't want to let go of that and make a, a move sideways, take on a different kind of environment. And looking back, that cost me some career velocity. I should have ripped the chain. I should have made myself get out of the comfort zone right. much earlier than I eventually did. Right. So sometimes, you know, we stay too long in a situation because it's just comfortable we love it but I think we need to always plan ahead and, and listen to people around Absolutely. you who might be tapping you yeah. on the shoulder like and, you say yeah, the support yeah. system right yeah, yeah sometimes yeah. it's good and be careful too with the people sometimes that you have around that they don't want to grow and they're gonna exactly. say exactly the opposite right yes. you know say why are you doing this you know and always just trying just to hold you you know, mm -hmm. back. tuning into, you know, what's your own motivation? Is your ego kind of the one that's talking? Is it your fear? Right. To your earlier point, you know, what's what's your motivator? And if you can peel that apart, then you have clarity, and then you can make the next move. So, how do you think we can become change agents? Yeah. So we talked about the topic: be the change. Yeah. Right. So you know what? Actually, we already are change at this very moment. Every minute, our body is turning over 96 million, 96 million cells. Well, if that isn't change right. happening right now, right. I don't know what it is. So do the math. We've been sitting here 25 I minutes. I know, right? Times 96. Yeah. Right, right. You know, how much change have we already gone through? But we tend to not think about it that way as, as people. So we are constant change. We are constantly, constantly changing anyway. So to be a change agent, to me, is to harness the power of change. So if you see something that doesn't sound right, a friend making a remark, a, a colleague, a boss doing something that isn't right, and it goes against your core values, against you speak your... Speak up. Yeah, speak up. Be a change agent. Trust that your value is, is going to be vocalized and heard so so do something you know put your your walk you know walk walk the talk I right? walk the talk yeah yeah and, and this is something that i've been talking over you know this past two years here with you all and and about this is how i exactly how i feel because unfortunately you know in today's world everybody wants to be diplomatic Right, <laughs> and I have a problem with that <laughs> because you know I have my core values, and I have to stand for what's right. And I I mentioned this here before. If we witness a crime, somebody with a gun shooting another person, if you don't call, pick up the phone and call the police and let them know that you witness you know a crime, you are as so guilty as the person that committed. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, that's the thing is we have to understand that, and sometimes. You know, people just, they want, you know, be diplomatic and, you know, I want to be the change. I believe that is different ways that we can deliver the same message, right? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Different styles. Just different styles. Yeah. You yeah. still can speak up, but with mm -hmm. that, yeah. right? Yeah. You don't have to be rude with the other person. You don't have to disrespect the other person. I have times that I have seen people making inappropriate comments on social media that I really think that they will regret later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I pick up the phone, I call them and I say, so, so, listen, you may gonna tell me that, you know, it's none of my business, 
to back off and I will and I just completely understand but you know this is not really you I don't think this is appropriate if you tell me this is none of my business you are completely right it's none of my business and I will back off right and the person actually did take the post down folks we all human beings we right. eventually do mistakes we yes. do things that's not right I think we have just to have the core values is strong, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. And have the courage to say something. To say yeah. something, yeah. you know? And even like sometimes I I do something and then I look back what I did and I say, oh, this go against my core values. Mm -hmm. Why did I do that? I'm better than this. Yeah. You understand what I'm I saying? Think, yeah, you know, I have to think of it lately. Um, this comes with age. Younger women come up with it. You're my role model. I'm like, oh my God, I have role models. But you are a role model. <laughs> but yeah, I think role models don't have anything to do with age. In what I now call like my, my little micro mentoring moments, instead of having a half an hour conversation where you mentor actively, I make it micro mentoring. It could just be a sentence, it right. could be a one minute conversation, right. Right? right? But you try to impart something meaningful or most of the time it's younger people, right, right? right? Give them a piece of advice. And it doesn't have to be a big long relationship where you meet every month. It can right. be a micro mentoring moment. And so, you know, being a change can be just that. It's like when you drop a pebble in the pond and there's the first ring when the, the pebble hits the water and then concentric rings form around it and it reaches out further and further. And it was that one pebble that you dropped but all these rings interconnect and they oh, ripple out and touch that's so beautiful. many other people potentially. So think about it that way. You don't have to be Mahatma Gandhi. No. You have a pebble of goodwill yeah. from the heart of change right. and watch and see what happens. The change is start with each of us every day, you know, because we have as attendance just to wait for the change, for the president to change our country, mm -hmm. right, for our spouse to change, for our kids to change, but to start first with us. So I tell you everybody just, you know, to be you, do you, and stay true to yourself. This is my, my logo, my, you know, thing that I embrace every day, you know, just make sure whatever you do it, do it for you, you know, because sometimes I feel like people, they want to please everyone else. Be the change for you first, because yeah. when you do the change for you, you'll be happier. Right? And you're going to do it, because when you feel that, right. you're passionate about Absolutely. it. You know, when it's something you feel passionate about, you put all the energy in the world into it. She invited me to be at her table last year for this, uh, the conference center, and I just, I came home, I was just like walking in water, just because everything was so wonderful, the speakers were wonderful, the topic was about the be the change. So I came home and I felt inspired to talk about it and I made some notes that the speaker shared at the end and just yeah. thought about being the change, right? Be authentic. Do not compare yourself to others. Just find your true you. That's important. It is. Right? Especially in this day and age. Social media makes us all feel a little insecure. It does. If it we does. let it get to us. Yes. It's not about what everybody else thinks. And listen, you know, and guilt is a charge, right? I come here, I post, you know, fun moments, you know, but I have problems too. You know, we all do, right? We're human. <laughs> We're all human beings. <laughs> so that's why you have to understand, right? Don't allow your problems to take away your joy. Right? That's so important. Yeah. Because you could. I mean, every day you could focus on things that are negative right. or that don't go perfectly and consume all your energy with that. Absolutely. Right? You can use the same energy for joy. It's just a choice. It's how you look at the thing that happens in the next moment and then decide how you're going to respond to it. Yeah, it's your choice. It's a life change, folks. It's a life change. This one actually I love it the most. The light you are seeking is inside of you, right? When you mm -hmm. see, look, mm -hmm. looking for the light everywhere, you know, but you seek it's inside of you. Yeah, it's not beautiful. So true, right? yeah. Hold on onto something bigger than yourself. You want to talk about that a little bit? I do. You know, I, um, uh, we just had our, our conference right, last right. weekend again, and one of the things. Uh, and it was, it starts with us. It was the building block. So what does it mean to be the change? Okay, great. Now we got that. Now let's do something. Right. Let's start this thing. Right. Right? And so uh, in preparation for that, 
what came to me was uh, what Dr. Frankel said, and he was a well-known Austrian neurologist, psychologist, and he also went through several Nazi concentration camps where he observed a lot of human behavior and wrote a number of books, but he put it together so simply. He said the purpose of life the meaning of life is to find a purpose Absolutely. and then to realize it's not just about us but about all of humans around us and i, I think it's, like, it's so simple it is yes. and I, I can speak for myself like this change that's going on in my life right now i think i see you know the really the purpose of life mm -hmm. so i do have problems a lot by the way <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, I mean, but the thing is, you know, because when I see, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm the center of my life anymore. I don't look, only looking for my belly button, the mm -hmm. things that happen around me, I look bigger. So I see that there's bigger problems out there, that is people yeah. dying yeah. with cancer, with, you know, they have terminal disease at the hospital, people that love, you know, lost loved ones. That's those things I say, you know, my problem is small compared to those things. And they right? are, right? Yeah, yeah it is. is. So you know. have so much. Much yeah, right now to be yeah. you know, grateful for, and I think it's about gratitude. Absolutely, when you have gratitude, that joy of living comes with it. A change, you know? also, the whole thing gratitude, mm -hmm. the start of gratitude, also the change, yeah. right? Yeah. So. The other thing is the so. pain, the pain won't be there forever because true. I know. Oh, God, thank God, I mean, you don't get birth forever, right? <laughs> I know, after right? some minutes, I know, I know, I know, that's what I always see it. It's just like when I'm going to that times, I said, you know, hmm, this happened before, and guess what? Right. And then, you know, it was over, and then yeah. it's back again, but it'll be over sometime okay. soon. I always say, I can do anything for 20 yeah. minutes, it's yeah. fine. I Whatever know. the pain, I can I know. do anything. If yeah. get through it, it for 20 minutes. I know. It, it, <laughs> You know, ladies and gentlemen, we can be here on and on and on. And I know we, we don't want just, you know, to make this too long. But I'm going to leave the last one. So write your own legacy when you are alive. Don't wait until you die. So tell me a little bit your thoughts about this one. Wow. So, you know, I sometimes think about that. I'm <laughs> my own eulogy in my mind. I'm getting older, like just little snippets, right? Right. For my children to say. But, you know, really, my legacy, I, I wanted to be that I've impacted positively right. many lives and that I've lived my authentic self with love. Um, that's really, you know, if at the end of the day I can look back and feel good about what impact I made, the right. love I shared, and the compassion. You know, yeah. I felt that yeah. would be really. You all come back, come back. Like life is too short, folks. Right? It's too short, and yeah. tomorrow is not guaranteed. Some mm -hmm. people live their lives like you know, start on a diet. They always start on Monday, right? Yeah. The same thing, you know, yeah. start to the, be the change and do the right thing. So I will start tomorrow, next year, next month. You know, but you don't know mm -hmm. where you're gonna have opportunity to do that. So it's just true. start it now. It's today. Right. Let's start it right, 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 now. right now. Right now. As soon as you don't watch this video. Be the change, be yes. the change for you, be the change for the people around you, but first for you. Because when you do the change for you, my husband always say, happy wife, happy life. That's so true, right? So true, right? Yeah. yeah. So I really love this topic today, but I and also I, I know a lot about you new business but i want to share a little bit more about <laughs> yes, all the change yes please, 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 please yes i want to right. share before we end this video thank Go you ahead. thank you so we started a new company last year out of the university of maryland and the founder and my business partner is an expert in human aging she stumbled she was doing research on a childhood illness and stumbled on a new ingredient that is a super antioxidant like nothing that's been developed before she found it she got the idea to put it into skincare because why wouldn't we want to change ex our skin right very rapidly in a positive way so we uh, created a product it's called blue lean like the word blue the color blue lean l-e-n-e -E. and blue labs is our company we launched last december this past december I'm and about to we are through. just we're at about two thousand customers and people That's are so loving awesome. loving the results and we are loving building something new that is an affordable product right we're not making this luxury uh -huh. it needs to be affordable for most women in this country to buy and enjoy and um, and then the skin is for the 
uh, a facial or for yep, the whole yep. body. So we now have three products: uh -huh. eye uh, moisturizer, night cream, and okay. the eye cream. Uh -huh. And really, what it does is it restores the health of your skin cell. And so, healthy skin cells make lots. Okay, of see, your skin is so glowing. And she said, "She walked in the door, and I said, you look so beautiful.' You know, she is beautiful, but I noticed we haven't <laughs> seen each other since I, I know. started this yeah. new enterprise and. It really, uh, we're getting to all kinds of write-ups and accolades in the scientific community about That's what so we're awesome. doing. So it's really cool. It's really fun. And we'll post it here. We'd love to we'll hear will. from all of you. No, and we'll find a way to share yeah. a coupon code. Yeah. So and, and, and try it out. And the thing, folks, you know, like as you get older, you get smarter. And because I, I wear a lot of makeup every day, so I learned that to have the right product to, to, to your skin is very important. Yeah. You know, change. Uh, absolutely. That's what I say. As soon as you walk the door, I told you, say, oh my gosh, you're glowing, right? Yeah. And then when we put the right products in our skin, it does make a yeah. big difference. And it's right? simple. You don't need five, ten different products. Yeah. It's yeah. simple. We we do way too That's many awesome. many things that yeah. aren't necessary. Yeah. Get the if someone wants to learn more about, about the product, it. how should they reach yeah. it to you? Bluelink.com. Bluelink.com. Okay, folks. Anything else you want to add before we end? Thank you. This is thank so you. Much fun. This is thank you. And thank you for tuning in. Thank, thank you for you. your comment. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share this video with your friends, with anyone that you think that you will enjoy right this Absolutely. conversation. Yeah. And if you'd like to come here and be like in that chair like you asked me and share a story have a topic that you're very passionate that you think that you can inspire others just you know give me a call or just send me a message and let me know because we all have a story right yes, share. We do. and sometimes you don't know it just like that our story can it just inspire others we that can is, all inspire each absolutely. other every single one of absolutely us. every day in life yeah. so and i hope you enjoyed this video enjoy the rest of your week you just remember be the change do you be you and stay true i love you all folks bye bye